back to another video. This one's not a review. This is actually a haul video. And as much as I know I said I wasn't gonna buy more of these until I worked through more of the stash, I actually have been drinking a crap ton of tea lately. So between that and how much I've been adoring this, I've literally been drinking it every single day since I did the review on that because I love it so much. I, I, I kind of may have little tiny bit splurged on the celestial savings with I began by a little I mean a lot <laughs> yeah I have no willpower so basically between this splurge my bath and body works on my annual haul splurge and my most recent craft splurge my wallet is gently weeping right now. We're, we're just gonna put it that way. <laughs> so I'm broker than fuck right now. But anyway, so we're gonna get into it. There's a bunch here, and I'm just so stoked to try all these. I know, I still have yet to try, like, half of the ones from the last order I put in from them because I'm such a slow ass. But I mean, to be fair, to be fair, with Celestial Seasonings, they're not in individual wrapped bags. They're in, like, one seal bag and they're just like loose in there. So for the sake of not wanting them to go stale from like opening all the things at once so I can try like one out of them, this is why I try to work through like the full boxes of them before opening new ones, or at most having like two open that I'll go back and forth between. That is why I've been so slow with getting around to reviewing more of these, because at least with other brands, like Bigelow, I mean, I happen to have a box, like, literally sitting at my feet right now, but they're individually wrapped, so I don't have to worry about those by opening tons upon tons of boxes and pulling from them all over the place. Same with Twinings. Celestial Seasonings, I mean, they're eco-friendly, but on the other hand, I kind of wish they did have an option that was individually wrapped. I mean, I understand why they don't, because it is a lot better for the environment, but regardless. I'm on a tangent. We're here to see what I bought. So, first thing I got. Well, let me start this off with, originally what sparked this off was for how good this was. I was like, dude, I should just like go see what other zingers they make because I know they make other zingers. And then when I saw them, I was like, let's buy all the zingers. And then I kind of kept buying shit because I wanted free shipping. So, um... <laughs> Anyway, first one is the Cranberry Apple Zinger, which I am so stoked for. I love cranberries, and I love apples, and I love this zinger over here, so what's not to love here if it's anything like that? Um, I may wait till it's a little bit closer to autumn to open this one, even though I'm, like, practically frothing at the mouth just looking at this one. I want it so badly, so that's a thing. Next box in here is just... Red Zinger, which, what was in this one? Obviously it has, um, the hibiscus, but there's something else in it too. Where does it say? It might be on the inside. If it's on the inside, I'm hosed. Blend Master's Notes. Hibiscus, peppermint, and wild cherry bark. That's what's in this one. And that just sounds really freaking unique to me. And I was like, this could be really good. It could be gross. I'm willing to take a gamble on that. So, <laughs> so I got it. Because, I mean, the peppermint, I know I'll like straight up. The hibiscus, pretty sure I like that. Wild cherry bark, however, that's where it gets iffy because does it taste like cherry or is it going to taste like wood. I mean, it did say bark. That's where I'm like, I'm not positive, but I'm down to try it. So this one's a lot more basic. This is just raspberry zinger. So this one, does it have anything else unexpected? No, nah, just hibiscus and raspberry. But yeah, it sounds hella good. I love raspberries, and yeah. This one's not a zinger, but this one I've had before, and I know I love it. This was actually one of my first favorite teas in my life, and it's the cinnamon apple spice, and I may or may not have another box of this from one of the last hauls. I'm trying to remember if I got this one or not in there. I feel like I didn't, but if I did, it's not like they're gonna go to waste, so just 
saying. Uh, it's one of those things where I'm like, I honestly cannot remember. And then I got the Lemon Zinger because I was just like, you know, I'm intrigued just to see how these flavors would play off one another, like both on its own and then doing it the way I do it and sweetening it because, I mean, it's awful tart if you don't sweeten it, but I'd like to just taste it just to see what it does taste like before it's sweetened because I at least give them all the benefit of the doubt of trying them before deciding if they need sweetener or not. Because sometimes with these, ones that I assumed would need it, don't. So I don't want to throw something in there and screw up the flavor if it doesn't actually need it, you know? Then I got this one I'm super intrigued about. The Acai Mango Zinger. I'm just like, huh, that sounds super crazy unique and I will probably never see this particular blend of flavors in another tea anywhere else but here. So hell yeah, I'm down to try that. Sounds weird as hell, and that's what makes it sound so interesting. And then I got... You knew I had to. Sweet Harvest Pumpkin. This is another one where I'm like, I don't remember if I bought this with my seasonal ones or not. I feel like I didn't. But again, not positive. I know how I am about pumpkin spice things, and if I had seen this at the time when I got those, I absolutely would have bought it. So I have to go through the other box and see if it's in there. Because if it is, I'm an idiot. But then again, like I said, it's not like it's gonna go to waste. So. <laughs> Especially since when I open those up, Kimmy drinks them too, so. And because I loved the lip balm version of this so much, I got Bengal Spice, and I forget who it was on here who said that I need to try this so badly, but I got it in my hand, and oh my god, can we just appreciate this artwork? Like, honestly, all of these have awesome artwork, but this one is so friggin' cool. And this one has cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, and cloves, which I'm just like, damn, that sounds good. It's like super chai or something. That sounds good. This one, I'm not gonna lie, mostly got it because it has a unicorn on it. But <laughs> this one is mint magic. And again, you can never go wrong with mint, and you can never have too many mint teas around. Because just when you think you will never go through them all, suddenly the whole house comes down with something with sore throats, and everybody wants mint tea, and you're the one who has it all, and suddenly your whole stockpile of it is quickly run through. Guess who learned this one the hard way last winter? So, <laughs> there's that. Same thing with upset stomachs. Everybody runs to you for ginger and or minty teas. But yeah, this one, I just... It has a unicorn. It was right before Karina's birthday. I had to. I haven't even shown her this box yet, but now that I have the main box open that these were all in that they arrived in, I have to show her it. Does it say it has anything special aside from mint? Spearmint and peppermint with lively orange peel and just a touch of sweet cinnamon. Okay, so it is a little bit more than just plain mint, but everything in there sounds amazing, so. Just saying, just saying. And this one, yes, I'm pretty much positive I have this one. Pretty positive, not 100%. I'm checking right here. Cause there was like, uh, I answered my question about that one. I had a feeling that I was like, I feel like I did buy this one. Okay, what do we have here? Well, also answered my question on this. I do have another box, but it is a very nummy sounding flavor. And if I'm being 100% honest, I honestly did forget that I bought this one before. So regardless, it's vanilla, but this is the Fireside Vanilla Spice. It's one of their newest flavors they made like last winter. So with that in mind, it was like, I couldn't remember for sure if I bought it or not, so I figured in case I didn't, now I have it, and if I do have it, I'll use up the older box first and then this one, but oh my god, can we talk about the little orange Milo kitty, just, ah, so cute. I have problems. <laughs> Who can tell Jen has a shopping addiction? Woo! Okay, so this one, oh hey, there's a sticker on it, new, save 55 cents. 
sweet. <laughs> but um, this one I definitely do not have and I've never tried, but it sounds really interesting. This one is Lemon Lavender Lane. I'm like, ooh, that, you know, that's different, but I can see that being real good. I'm really happy I have that. And who doesn't love the little red boxes? Just, oh my god, so cute. I love their artwork. Their artwork is like almost the best part. Okay, and I think we've got, yeah, another zinger. This one is the Sangria Zinger. True story, I've actually never had Sangria, which is kind of ridiculous for somebody with a drinking problem that I've never had Sangria, but it is what it is. So, um, does it describe it? True taste of Sangria with tartan, tangy hibiscus, the zing and every zinger, plus vibrant pineapple, blood orange, and citrus. Everything there sounds good, so I'm not complaining. So there's that one. And then I obviously have had this before, but I got more of it because we ran through it so freaking fast. The Honey Vanilla Chamomile. Now, I know we had the Bigelow one that was just um, chamomile vanilla with honey, which is actually what I just held up before when I was showing the individual bags. And I'm wondering if maybe with the order of the flavors in the name in a different order. If maybe the flavors are in different um, amounts, like in this one, there's more honey and vanilla than chamomile, and this one has more chamomile than vanilla and honey, and uh, um, just like, things like that do tend to matter, I've noticed, with the way things get named. It's not just random, so I'm very interested to see, because that one is the bomb, and I freaking love it. So, if this is anything like that, oh my gosh, yes. <sighs> we only got two left over, guys. We're almost done here. So then I got the Wild Berry Zinger, which sounds really good. Um, it just describes it as a luscious berry blend, plus hibiscus. So I'm like, that doesn't tell me much, but there is a little graphic on here, so if that tells us anything, there should be blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, cherries, and, wait, blackberry? At first I thought that was a raspberry, but I guess that's a blackberry, and the raspberry is behind it, so, okay, that's, that's cool. Alright. <laughs> not gonna lie, not as stoked for this one. I'm probably the least excited about this one, even though I love strawberries a lot. But, um, I don't know, generic berry things in meat, we've seen how I get along with them. But then again, combining it with the hibiscus could be a totally different ball game. And if it's not, this will be one of those things where it's just like, well, anytime somebody just randomly asks me for tea and they're not specific about what kind I want, I don't know what I'll be making them. Just saying. <laughs> okay, um, and the last one is the other zinger. This one is Tangerine Orange Zinger, and this sounds freaking epic. This may be the next one I open when I finish the watermelon one. Honestly, I should have gotten another box of that, but I was like, you know, I don't want to jump the gun, because my luck... For how much I'm like gung ho on it right now. If I buy another box right now, watch me burn out on it with the first box and then not want the other one. So I haven't bought a second one yet. If I get all the way through it and I've not burnt out on it, we'll talk. Because I know they have it at safe where I can just like grab one down there. But so this one, is there anything? Let's see. Tangerines, oranges, hibiscus, and a whisper of passion fruit. So it's like, hmm. Again, very interesting. Just saying. So anyway, that is, let's see, grand total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 boxes of tea. On top of all of the ones I already had. I, again, have problems. But then again, I am also a compulsive tea drinker, so it's not like they just sit there not being drank, they just don't get drank as fast as I buy them. <laughs> That's really bad to admit, but on the other flip side of things, I feel like there is some amount of, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Not ownership, but, um, <coughs> excuse me, what is the word? Not notoriety, not, no, that's definitely not it. Not keeping myself honest, but something along those lines. I'm tired. So I'm like, what is the word I'm thinking of here? Well, regardless, it's like, 
I keep myself open, so that, in and of itself, when I'm being totally open about my buying habits, I don't go as over the top crazy as I do if I try and hide the buying habits. That is part of why I make these videos, is it actually keeps some kind of a leash on the way I spend my money. It sounds so dumb, but, <laughs> like, I've actually definitely done this before, where I have not had any sort of, um, oh dang, I almost thought of the word. Not ownership. <sighs> I'm blanking hardcore right now, I feel so brain dead. But, um, why can I not think of it? It is making me crazy that I cannot think of the word. But, um, regardless, when I have not had to own up to anybody, and I was, like, hiding how much crap I was buying of any random thing that I have a propensity to buy in bulk, I have the tendency to buy, like, at least three times as much if I am not, like, open and honest with people about what I'm buying. Which is why I have a literal entire closet full of yarn. <laughs> that would be when I was trying to, like, quietly, like, closet sneak in. Ah, yeah, see what I did there? That was not intentional. Sneak in as much as I possibly humanly could afford and, like, was hoarding it. Wasn't really planning out what I was going to use it for. Kind of just wanted it to have it. Now that I have it, I'm like, why the fuck did I do that? And I'm still trying to use it up. So this goes for just about anything with me. That if I have to like own up to it, it will definitely make me actually think about the shit I'm purchasing and how much of it I'm purchasing and having to justify it logically. That's the key part here. If I have to justify it logically, I will actually keep it into some sort of reasonable, rational level as opposed to, just buy all the things, because I can buy all the things. Even though, with my financial situation, it's probably not a very smart thing for me to do that, because while I can physically do that, I won't have, like, any money left at the end of the day if I do that, the way that I have tendencies to do that. So this way, it's, it's still pricey, but it didn't break the bank. Not on its own, anyway. Combined with the other binges, it kind of did, but... No, this, actually, this order altogether only came to about $50. Do I have the receipt right here? Or did I check it? No, I think I have it right here. Oh, it doesn't have the pricing! Oh, you bastards. What about the other page? No? Boo. Well darn. Well, I remember that, like, I was originally just trying to spend enough to get the free shipping. And then I surpassed that, like, that, and there was still more that I wanted. And I was like, well, for how much I'm buying, and how much I already have in my stockpile that I still have to work through, I won't be able to justify <clears throat> another purchase like this for a while. So if I'm gonna do this, I may as well do this right and get all the crap that I want at this moment, and just be done with it, you know? So I did. And it came to, I think, 50, like, almost straight up, even 50. And then I went to RetailMeNot.com, like I always do uh, when I buy anything, and I found a coupon for, um, not free shipping, I already had the free shipping. I can't remember if it was, like, $10 off or 15% off, but regardless, it worked out in such a way to where it brought down the total cost to, like, 40 not bad. It was not bad. And I was like, you know, for 15 boxes of tea, that's not bad at all. I can justify that. And so I did. And now they're here. And I am going to drink them. And I am going to enjoy them thoroughly. So, <laughs> you know, this at least makes a lot more sense than what I just, like, random impulse buy. Let's buy seven things of oil pastels for, for no reason when you don't even know how to actually use them. That, um... Uh, may have been a thing in the craft uh, binge that I aforementioned that also took place on the same day as this. 
Shame, shame, shame on the gen who has a problem. <laughs> so, but to be fair, I mean, it is my own money that I'm spending. No one else's. I'm hurting no one but my own wallet by doing that. But on the other hand, it's like, dude, get a freaking grip. It seems like ever since the bank situation and just being wigged out and having like nothing for a while, my brain has gone into overdrive of just wanting to buy shit for the sake of buying things because I physically can again. And I think I'm almost at the tipping point this, this right now. Actually, in the filming of this, maybe hitting that tipping point of going back down the other side being like, okay, I hit critical mass. I think I'm good now. I think I can chill. I think we're good. So <laughs> that would be nice. So I could, you know, actually successfully save up some money. I'm still trying to save up for that guitar. Um, obviously, I have not succeeded in that, and every attempt at saving that money has resulted in my spending that money. So, you know, that's a thing. I'll get it one day, but for now, you know, it is what it is. I'm being honest about it. I give you guys no bullshit. So, you get honesty here. Way too much honesty, but yeah, so, that's a thing, but, um, yeah, no, I'm actually, like, once I get paid again next week, I am, like, trying to go into save money mode again, so I can get that guitar, because if I actually properly save up, I can probably do it in about, like, a month and a half, no problem, so, just trying to keep eyes on the prize and not to get distracted by all the ooh shiny, ooh shiny, ooh shiny, buy all the things, things like every five seconds. You know how it goes. Unless you don't. Because, you know, most people don't have a shopping addiction. So, just saying. Just saying. So, anyway, um, I'm going to wrap this up here because I am honestly babbling. So, um, if you enjoyed this video and my way TMI too much over the top honesty, hit the like button. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. Uh, leave comments down below. Until next time, bye!